Why are we here? Why are we in Stamford, Connecticut? Here for family, uh, visiting old friends, uh, just vacationing. But uh, the lady said it, Auntie. I don't know if you're Auntie, but <laughs> it's uh, the reason is marriage, right? It's it's for that, right there. You know how happy they look. That's awesome. That's what we're all striving for right now. And the thing is. That's the ultimate goal of coming to this convention, one of them, of the many. And a lot of people wish that that would happen for them, you know, like, a, and, and it's a matter of perspective. So uh, a lot of the parents with youth here would want uh, their kids to marry a Rajput, and vice versa. We would want, we won't mind marrying inside our own caste, uh, if nothing else, to get our parents off our back. Uh, and so let's look at the numbers real quick. I'm going to compare us to other organizations that are, that are somewhat the same. Uh, the success rate at Ghana, which is the one on the right, 4.2%. That's the Gujarati Association of North America. Now, 4.2%, they're Gujaratis. I guess they just marry more. They have better numbers. MAM is Marathi Association of Minnesota. They're beating us out, 3.1%. Donna, the Telugu people, have 2.1%. We are barely beating out the KKK. <laughs> and, and we happen to uh, be a legal organization, unlike the KKK. So that's why we should explore this topic a little further. I'm going to be talking about to kind of define the, the problem, I'm going to categorize the parents in certain ways, and I'm going to categorize the youth, and then I'm going to describe some of the constructs I use to, to, to categorize the people, and then I'm going to present some personal solutions, and then we can talk about it. I'm down. Uh, so the categorization of the parents, there's three major groups. There's the people who care, uh, and by care I mean uh, meddle and interfere in your life. Uh, and they comprise of about 85%. So of all the parents here, about 85% are, are more or less uh, meddling and interfering. And, and why? They are doing it for uh, the sake of love. Maybe they just love you and they want the best for you. Uh, boredom, they're just, their lives are so boring that they have nothing else to fixate on yours. And then the cultural and social pressures, which is uh, essentially uh, what will auntie say if, if you marry a black person? Uh, and there's nothing wrong with marrying a black person, but what will they say? It's, it's a social pressure that we've kind of made up in our head. Uh, the second part is, the, the second group is don't, the, those who don't care. About 10% don't really care, and you can tell, like, they just kind of moping along. I'm not going to point any names, but like, some un uncles and aunties, just they, they don't seem to care. Not necessarily a bad thing, because they do it out of love and respect, maybe. Uh, they, they love their children so much, they respect them enough to uh, make their own decisions or mistakes. Uh, they might be too self-involved. Um, once again, no names. And then uh, the new age people who think that you know, kids can find their own mate and they don't need to help with that. And then there's a hybrid group uh, that comprises of about 5%. And, um, these are the groups that are kind of caring half the time, not caring half the time, uh, and, and that's because they're perpetually drunk. Um, so that's the parents. We're going to move on to the youth. The youth, ironically, breaks up into the same three categories. Uh, there's the care. The people who care, they desire marriage. They're here to marry, and yet they're still single. Uh, and, and there's about 60%-ish. And why are they still single? I mean, that's a big problem. Why are the people who want to get married still single? And that's baffling to a lot of people. Uh, it's something I call the Chewbacca factor. I'll define in a second. Uh, there's high standards. Uh, I'll describe that also. And age, and that's, that's part of the high standards thing. Uh, the second group is the don't care. They're about 30% of the kids here. Uh, I mean, I've talked to them. They don't care. They're, they're just here to party. And that's perfectly fine, too. Uh, they could be jaded, they could be elitist, they could uh, be content and lazy with it, you know, everything is fine, they could be too mature, they could be too young, uh, they could be focused on their career, which is respectable, uh, they may not just be ready to marry, they might not be ready to move on to the next level, uh, and then of course the hybrid, a little bit more, is 5% of the adults, 10%, and they're also perpetually drunk. Um, here's the Chewbacca factor. All right. So these are for the youth 
who cares, right? They want to get married, and yet they have some kind of physical ailment that's preventable. That's the major thing, preventable, right? Excessive body hair, fa I'm not trying to make fun of anyone. Facial hair, acne, back knee, obesity, uh, dandruff, halitosis, uh, body odor. These are all things that are totally preventable. There's whole industries out there that, that the companies focus, like their selling point is to stop this stuff. So why don't you buy it, right? And for example, uh, head and shoulders. You got dandruff? Perfect, it works. A uh, scope, bad breath, you got some uh, proactive, Puffy uses it. Puffy. Puffy. He uses it. Gillette, uh, that's self-explanatory, and Dove, uh, body wash. All right, I'm not gonna get too much into that, I'll get in trouble. Uh, all right, so here, there's a relationship between uh, the age, eligibility, and standards. Right? And let me define some stuff first. This is a chart uh, with age as the x-axis and as you grow older. Uh, eligibility is the dark line, which is uh, how the other, how the community views you, how eligible you are, how many people want to maybe marry you. And then the standards is, is how you view yourself. Uh, are you better than everyone? Are you less better than everyone? And it changes with time. So you can see the eligibility shoots up around the teens, so the standards uh, a little lag behind. Uh, the interesting thing here is when the two lines cross, uh, that's when the magic happens, right? Your eligibility matches up with your standards, and thus you are uh, married. So most men get married around 31, 32, 33, and that's for this reason, that the lines cross. However, for women, the problem is, the lines never meet, <laughs> right? Uh, so the line for her, uh, the line for eligibility is about the same. Uh, it starts around the early teen years and they go, it shoots up around 28, 29. Uh, there's a drastic drop in eligibility just because our culture has created this idea that if you're older, then you can get the younger ones, or maybe uh, the guys think that. But it happens. And the standards, of course, they are inflated the whole life, they never meet. You see the problem? This is right there, and so what's the what's the uh, what, what's the solution? Or let's let's delve more deeper. Why are women having this problem? Uh, I would say there's a disconnection with reality, right? There's fantasy land on one hand, where they think they they watch Bollywood movies and they they uh, uh, they they, I, they think they belong with the hero, uh, Shah Rukh Khan. He's a hero. He looks good. You know what? You know what reality is though. That guy. That guy's reality, and there's nothing wrong with that guy. He's a, he's a perfectly normal guy. I Googled him, Google imaged him, and uh, no one here, hopefully not. That'd be weird. Uh, but that guy's there, and, and if you want to bring that factor of uh, uh, standards down, then you need to get into reality, which is that guy. All right. What are the solutions, right? There's, there's I, I thought of a four. Uh, they, they break down into... Uh, economic solutions, a uh, cultural solution, and, and one logical one. Um, economic solution one is strategically increase the pool of options. So the problem, I, as I just mentioned, is a lot of the kids, they don't, they all think they're friends with each other. I mean, they are friends with each other, so you're not gonna date your sister because they, that's what we become, a big family. So we need to increase the people. I went on Shelly.com just a few days ago. I typed in Rajput or Kashriya or whatever it was, and <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, and I went online and I found that guy. All right, that's reality, reality. All right, and let me read you his bio. I'm not. It's not a bad thing. Uh, his handle is s bishwash underscore 1978. Perfectly normal. Uh, he's a quote very caring, honest. Practical-minded guy with broad-minded uh, outlook towards life. That's great. Uh, IT professional, also great. Uh, he likes gardening, landscaping, playing musical instruments, and DIY uh, projects, which I had to find out. That's do-it-yourself projects. This guy is awesome, right? Why is he not here? We should be flying him, paying for his airfare, because he wants to get married. He's on Shelly.com. And, and these are Rajputs. He's somewhere in the world walking around, not here. 
I just, that needs to be pointed out. If more people like this come, we can get more, the marriage is up in uh, better numbers. Uh, the second one is you kind of incentivize the people. It's an economic problem. You, you, you let the, the families, uh, you give them certain incentives. Uh, and a few examples are Rana. You give them Rama, Rana life membership for free if, if your daughter or son marries within the Rana people. So two families will give, you'll give them like a free hotel and like a free car rental or, you know, just give them incentives. Uh, or you can give them a Best Buy gift certificate because who doesn't like those? Those are awesome, right? Or, or this is for more for the traditional, for the daddies out there, a lifetime supply of matcha paneer. Yeah, that's delicious. Matcha paneer, it's delicious. Uh, long-term solution. All right, this is more of a much, much long-term. Uh, increase the traditional arranged marriages. So what does that mean by that? I'm talking about at birth. And imagine how much fun this place would be if everyone was married. All the kids, even the young ones, just running around with their wives. It'd be great. Right? It'd be fun. Boom. Uh, and then the final thing is the logical solution, which the logic never wins here. Logic's never going to win. And, and I guess. To put in simplest terms, in Western terms, uh, just chill out. <laughs> just relax. And this is more for the parents. Actually, for the kids, too. Just relax. Just don't think about it. Just let it happen. All right. <laughs> Questions? All right. Thank you. No questions. No questions at all. <laughs>